Hello friends, welcome to arpatakarva.com, India's finest online coaching for English literature. Now today we'll be covering the summary of D.H. Lawrence's Sons to Lovers. Now friends, this novel is an autobiographical account of author's own life. This novel was published in the modernism period and it also highlights Oedipus complex. Now what is Oedipus complex? It is also called Oedipal complex and it describes a child's feeling of desire for their opposite sex parent and jealousy and anger towards their same sex parent. Now this concept was first introduced by Sigmund Freud, his theory of psychosexual stages of development. So we see elements of Oedipus complex as we encounter Mr. Morrill's relationship with his son, Paul. Now let's uh, get to know the story a bit in detail. It begins with a couple named Mr. Walter Morrill and Mrs. Gertrude Morrill who are at the early stages of their married life. The couple has two children, a seven-year-old boy named William and a five-year-old daughter named Annie Morrill. Now, despite their poor family conditions, this couple is expecting their third child. Now, they have recently moved to a new home. William really loves his mother a lot and he's deeply attached to her. It makes him feel so lonely whenever he's not with her. When both children fall asleep, Mrs. Morrill waits for her husband to come home from the bar. Now, Mrs. Morrill does not want a third child due to their poor family conditions. Now, Mrs. Morrill's husband has a drinking problem and she doesn't like it at all. She finds happiness in her two kids and wishes for a miracle that could turn their lives around. One day while cleaning the house, her drunk husband arrives and they get into an argument over his drinking habit. She asked him if he had been drinking, but he denied it. So Mr. Morrill said to his wife, Look, I got something for our kids. But Mrs. Morrill didn't pay much attention and went to sleep. Then the story goes into a flashback that reveals Mrs. Morrill's life before marriage. Mrs. Morrill came from a poor family and she had a close friend named John Field. So when Mrs. Morrill was 19 years old, John gave her a Bible as a gift. She has cherished and kept that Bible safe all these years. So Mrs. Morrill used to tell John that if she was a man, she could go wherever she wanted to, do whatever she wanted to. However, John wisely replied that just being a man isn't enough to guarantee freedom. John replied to her that being a man is not enough. If you are a man, it doesn't mean you have all the freedom. Eventually, Mrs. Morrill met Mr. Morrill at a Christmas party when she was 23 years old and Mr. Morrill was 27 at that time. So he approached her and asked her to dance, but she refused the offer. So Mr. Morrill sat beside her and talked for a long time and that's how they became friends. Soon after, they got married before the next Christmas and initially their married life went smoothly until they became parents. After seven months of marriage, she found some bills in Mr. Morrill's coat pocket. It turned out to be furniture bills for their home that her husband hasn't paid yet. She went to him and asked why he hadn't paid the bills. Now, For the first time, he scolded her and their relationship started affecting from that point of time. After that incident, they continued to have problems. Then their first child, William, was born. Now, the first bad incident that happened in their lives was when Mr. Morrill chopped off William's hair while Mrs. Morrill was sleeping. This incident had a significant impact on their relationship, creating distance between both of them. So, this was the past of uh, their married life. Now, we'll shift to the present time of the story. As we know, they already have two children and are expecting their third. And their third child named Paul Morrill has been born. Now, after the birth of their third child, Paul, their fights start again. Mr. Morrill realized that he had been threatening his wife too much. So, despite their efforts, their fights never seemed to end. And once Mrs. Morrill took her kids to a cricket field where she named her third child, Paul. So, one day they again got into a fight when Mr. Morrill came home drunk. He hurriedly went to the kitchen and began searching for food. So, Mrs. Morrill came to him and said, can't you wait for a while? Mr. Morrill became angry and hit her throwing something at her that caused a severe injury to her head. He then went to his favourite bar and stayed there until he had money in his pocket. 
when he ran out of money he started stealing money from his wife's purse so when mr morrel discovered that the money was missing from her purse she became angry she talked to him and asked him if he had taken the money from her purse so mr morrel went to his room and packed his belongings he told mrs morrel that he could no longer live there and he is leaving the house so mrs morrel expected him to return at night but he didn't show up she got worried thinking about him that why did he not come back but then he eventually returned home now as time passed mr morrel fell ill and his condition became serious mrs morrel took care of him and also received help from their neighbors and eventually mr morrel started to recover now mrs morrel's attention shifted toward her kids especially her sons so when paul was 17 months old they had another child named arthur so mr morrel really liked his newborn son arthur which made mrs morrel happy that her husband liked at least one of her kids Now, as time flew by, William turned thirteen, and Mrs. Morrel got a job. But due to her job, Mr. and Mrs. Morrel began fighting again. So, when William turned nineteen, he received a job offer in London, and William was very good at studies, so he got a well-paying job. However, he had to leave his family and mother for this particular job. So, Mrs. Morrel didn't like the idea of her son leaving and going to London, but he eventually left. Now, meanwhile, Paul was also growing up, and he was very close to his sister Annie. Later an accident happened in London and William died due to a skin disease. After losing one son Mrs Morrel didn't want to lose her other son Paul who had pneumonia. She took care of him and Paul recovered. Now Paul got into a relationship with a girl named Miriam. Paul's mother didn't like that his son had a relationship with any girl. She felt jealous. There was one more reason she didn't like Miriam was that she was from a poor family. So Mrs Morrel was worried that Miriam might ruin Paul's life and she believed he could do great things in his life so guys the story moves forward now miriam has a friend named clara dawes who was married but she had left her husband so after meeting clara paul got attracted to her paul broke up with miriam to be with clara now they were passionately in love with each other however clara was just using paul for her sexual satisfaction and didn't want to marry him so meanwhile paul's mother mrs morrel got ill and paul spent time taking care of her but unfortunately mrs morrel died Paul realized that he shouldn't be in a relationship with Clara so he thought of going back to Miriam but it didn't work after mother's death Paul was alone he wanted to commit suicide so that he could be with his mother but at the end of the novel Paul continued to live his life so it's basically a sad story of um, Mr Morrel Mrs Morrel and their sons and ups and downs like typical middle lower middle class ki struggles kahani it's like that so some facts and quotes friends uh, in this uh, novel dh lawrence studied the psychological state of an english working class family and explored their relationships of love this is a 15 chapter novel and the last line of the novel is he walked towards the faintly humming glowing down quickly and some other important lines are first she had borne so long this cruelty of belonging to him and not being claimed by him second sleep is still most perfect in spite of hygienes when it is shared with a beloved so that's all for this lecture friends and we'll meet soon in the next one till the time we meet next happy learning keep loving literature and stay tuned to arpitakarva.com